What's up guys, we're back. We're looking at some more NBA player props in today's video. This video applies to everywhere. No matter if you guys are on prize picks, sleeper, or sportsbook, does not matter. Wherever you guys are, I got you guys covered with some NBA player props today. Let's hop in. Great run going right now. That's not individual player props. That's profitable days right there. We have four straight winning days, and that is over in the Dove Club. Make sure you guys go and check it out right now. There's a two-day free trial down in my description below. You guys also get access to my Discord chat as well. So go check it out for free. It's two days completely for free. Make sure you guys go and check it out. Link is down in my description below. Like I said, four straight winning days over in the Dub Club. So definitely check it out. My prize picks up to minute winnings over $5,700, as you guys can see right there. And if you don't know how Dub Club works, it's all my plays to you straight to your phone through the Dub Club app, email, Telegram, or Discord. I've seen my plays out to over 2.4 thousand subscribers and for a bunch of different sports, including the NBA, NHL, MLB, and the NFL. MLB right around the corner here, March 30th. I'm super excited for that because that is tied for my best sport with the NBA. So really excited about MLB coming back. We smashed that every single year. So make sure you guys check out the Dub Club. Like I said, two-day free trial down to my description below. There's also a link for the free Discord down to my description below as well. You can get in on some free plays over in the free Discord. Completely free to join. Link is down there in my description as well. But with that being said, let's get into what you guys been waiting for, the player props. First though, I want to show you guys this app right here. It's called Dabble. You can sign up right now for a free $10 just for signing up. You do not even have to deposit. It gives you a free $10 just for signing up. Use promo code DMG. Link for Dabble is down in my description below. It's an amazing app in my opinion. I absolutely love it. There's three different sports on the board currently. NBA, NHL, and basketball. College basketball, that is. And it's got all your normal player props on top of some other cool stuff too. So it's got all these player props you guys can see right here. They also have first quarter rebounds, first quarter points, that normal type of stuff. Uh, field goal attempted, free throws made, free throws attempted, two pointers made. There's a lot of cool categories here on the board on Dabble. So make sure you guys go and check it out for yourself. Link is down in my description below. Promo code DMG gets you a free $10 just for signing up. Finally, though, just make sure you guys play responsibly and at your own risk. And let's get into this here. Subscribe, all that good stuff. Post notifications turned on so you guys do not miss future videos. But the first player prop that I like today is going to be in the Warriors game, Draymond Green, over 12 points plus assists today. Really 11 and a half is what I personally played him at. I like that up for two, 1.5 units today. I really love this play. It's my, currently my favorite play on the entire board. Let's take a look at why I like Draymond so much today. So let's head over to the props.cash tool, which is my research tool that I use for everything. But he's, you can see right here, he's over in 72% of games. This line is way too low for Draymond. I don't really know what they're doing. My guess is why this is so low is because he's under this in four of his last six games. He's only been over twice against Washington and New York. And now today he plays against Milwaukee. But if you look at why he kind of missed in some of these games here, it was really due to not seeing his full amount of minutes because that Boston game, absolute blowout. They did not even touch the court in the second half. Uh, that game right there against Charlotte, he only had 20 minutes. And then some of these other games too that he's missed, he shot really, really bad. He shot 33%, 25%, 25%. He's been shooting pretty bad in some of these games as well. I think the assist is a really underrated spot here for Draymond as well. I wanted him over the four and a half, but it's like a minus 160 or something like that. So I kind of switched over to the points plus assist here. So I think Draymond, I think he can get six points today. And that's bare minimum. I think you can get six to seven points, hopefully at least, with five or six assists today. So that's why I kind of like his points plus assist here. But uh, so that's kind of why I think this, this line is so low is just because of his bad shooting and, uh, you know, blowouts and things like that. So I don't really understand why this line is that low, though, because if you take a look at games where he has played 20 plus minutes so far this year, in games with 20 plus minutes, he's over this in 81% of games, which he should be seeing 20 plus minutes today. I think he sees even more than that, personally. I think he sees probably about 26 to 28 minutes. Now, how about in games with 20 plus minutes and when they win? He's over in 85% as well. At, at home and also in wins, he's over an 88% there. And by the way, the Warriors are favored by about four points today against Milwaukee. So they are definitely favored in this game here. They're expected to win, which is why I toggled that uh, win thing on right there. But pass rush against Milwaukee, they're both last season. So kind of take them with a grain of salt, but nine and 14 points plus assist against them. That was in the past though. The matchup against Milwaukee isn't fantastic, but I also don't think it's the worst either. I think Milwaukee, you know, even though they got Giannis and like Brooke Lopez there, I still think Draymond will be able to have his, uh, a good share of, uh, you know, some points today. And uh, on top of that, him having, you know, five to six assists today is what I'm kind of having projected for. I think they just be in a really nice spot. So yeah, really simple breakdown here for Draymond Green. I just think it's a really nice buy low opportunity. He's been great this year and he just hasn't been at great as of late, which is due to blowouts and uh, shooting bad, which I do not really see happening today. I think he'll shoot normal. It should be back to normal today with the shooting. And this game also should not be a blowout. It's only a four point spread in which the Warriors are projected to win. We're going to get into our second player prop in just a bit here. But before we do, Make sure you guys check out this research tool. It's called props.cash. You can get it for yourself. Link is down my description below. Use the promo code DMG. Get you guys 25% off your first month. It's only be $15 for your first month compared to a lot more for some other player prop tools. So 
Absolutely love Product.cash. Check it out for yourself. Promo code DUMG. Link for it is down in my description below. All right, now the second player prop that I like today is going to be SGA over 31 points, really 30 and a half is what I personally played him at. I do like this one though for half a unit. I will explain why in just a bit here, but I think SGA is fine at half a unit. I don't really like him a little bit more than that. And I do not like him at 31 and a half. 31 and a half. If you guys don't know how SGA is, by the way, he lands on 31 points exactly, way more than he really should. It's absurd how many times he's landed on 31 points on the dot. So let's take a look here at SGA here. First off, he's over in 68% of games. So it's really, really nice here right there. 68% of games. And today he faces Portland, who he is two for three against this year. But uh, let's take a look at the minutes that he had against Portland this year. He had 22 minutes, 21 minutes, and 35 minutes in those three games there. So what's crazy though is he had 31 points right there and only 21 minutes earlier this year against portland back in january but i uh, played them more recently there had uh, 33 points there in his normal like 35 minutes but this matchup against portland should be very very nice for him they really haven't played any high-end guards besides anthony edwards as of late uh like literally since january i don't think they played a you know real guard like i said earlier though i really love this matchup here against portland in games where sga ends up winning he's over in 71 percent of games and games where they win by 10 plus he's over in 72 percent of games with three games there being on the hook he should be able to have 30 plus points today i'd be shocked if he did not but i love these patch matchups here against portland they're just a really really weak defense for the most part and i mean he's been able to clear in games with 21 minutes before what i also like to look at though is the field goal attempts here he had 13 15 and 24 field goal attempts here against portland and a reminder, these games are with 23 and 21 minutes there. So I'm really expecting plenty of field goal attempts today for SGA. I mean, games where he sees 17 or more field goal attempts, which he's also done, I believe, nine of his last 10 games. He's over in 77% of games. And in games where they win, 76%. And on games on the road, over in 79%. Again, kind of a simple breakdown here. I like the matchup a lot here for SGA. I think the field goal attempts should be there against Portland, who is kind of a higher pace matchup, I believe. Uh, so that's kind of going our favorite a little bit. The split's pretty nice as well with him being on the road. Most of the time, he's fine being on the road, uh, but especially in wins. He's been great when they uh, end up winning as well, which they are massive favorites today against Portland. Just need this game to not be a complete blowout, and I think the SJ should be able to go over his 30 and a half points today. I really like him. I really like the spot here. I do not like PRA, by the way, or points or plus rebounds or assists. Strictly points here at 30 and a half, I think is a really nice spot today for SGA, as long as there's no blowout. My two NBA plays today are going to be Dream on Green over 11 and a half points plus assists for one and a half unit. My second play is SGA over 30 and a half points for half a unit. Thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And again, if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and leave a like. I really would appreciate it. On top of that, make sure you guys go and join the dub club, man. We've had four straight profitable days in the dub club. Check it out. Two days completely for free. Your first two days. Make sure you guys check it out right now. We are absolutely on fire. You see right here my profit amount on prize picks. I've been a consistent winner. And uh, yeah, just get all my plays sent straight to your phone there. Two days, your first two days completely for free. So make sure you guys go and check it out for yourself. But that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys hopefully in tomorrow's video. Best of luck tonight. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Best of luck. See you guys tomorrow.